Hey everybody, welcome to GearHead Daily. Today's project is we're going to be making a custom length cable between the starter and the battery. I have already done and gone and done one side, which is the starter side. Now I have to do the battery side. This is double lock cable that I got uh, in a previous uh, situation and I just uh, had it left over. You can get some from McMaster or wherever sells cable, your local hardware store. Uh, this is double lock size. And to make a custom cable, you're going to have to obviously cut it down to length, which I've already done. I've stripped off the insulation here. You'll need a terminal end, which is obviously this is the battery side end that goes on a top post. You're going to need some solder and you're going to need a torch. I'll show you what that is for in a second. You could obviously go to the store and buy one and they're like 25, 30 bucks a piece, but it's not going to be the right custom size. And if you really want to make a clean install, you're going to have to make a few of these yourself. This is really simple to do, and let's just let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bunch of pieces of uh, solder here. I'm just going to go ahead and put them in. I'm going to put them in about halfway, because if you end up putting too much in there, uh, solder just ends up spilling everywhere. So I'm just going to put a few pieces in there. Basically, all we really want to do is just have enough so it solidifies itself in there. Now, the next step... Clearly, I'm going to be using a torch, and that goes without saying, be extremely careful with this stuff, because it is flammable, and you can hurt yourself, so be careful. I'm going to go ahead and heat it up. And while it's still melting, still melting, I'm going, and still wet, and a liquid, I'm going to pull the heat away, I'm going to shove the battery cable in there, turn the gas off, let it cool for a little bit. All right, now that you've got this uh, cool, you're going to let it cool to the touch, we're going to take it out of the vise. And we're going to move up our heat shrink tube. Of course, I know you put that in there before. I know you did. We're going to grab another torch device, and we're going to shrink the tube uh, so that it offers some protection. This isn't really made for it to slide back out. It's more, more of an electrical protection for the connection itself. And I think it just looks good. So I always like doing this. This just happens to be yellow. It's not my favorite color but for this sort of thing. But it works. So... There you have it, pretty simple. Solder, a little bit of heat, a little bit of patience. And remember, when you're putting this in, uh, always let it cool to the touch. If you pull it out too quick, it's just gonna yank all the, the solder out of there and you're gonna have to redo it. Make sure she's in there nice and tight. She's not, of course. Ha! <laughs> there you have it. Perfect custom length, exactly what I needed to do. And uh, that's it, I'm gonna go put it on the car. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks a lot. See you guys later.